Hello, viewers. It's Michael Kreslovsky and Noel Moen with Team K Realty. Hello. And we are driving right past Midway Farms on Highway 20 up towards North Albany because today we are filming the narrated driving tour of Albany neighborhoods for you. So welcome aboard. All right. So as you get this started, you want to make sure that the picture, the video is not all pixelated. So click the little gear icon on your YouTube window and in, go into the settings and play this in 4K. You want to play this in higher resolution so it's not all pixelated. All right, so Noel, tell us a little bit about um, who you are on the team, actually, in case this is the first time a viewer has landed on our channel. Well, hello, everyone. My name's Noel Moen. I am the buyer's specialist on Team K. I tend to be the boots on the ground, and I help a lot of people out uh, showing homes, helping write the contracts, and just being general help for the team, for our buyers. Absolutely, and she's been rocking it. We've really enjoyed having Noelle aboard since April of this year. Speaking of which, it is mid-November as we're filming this. So this is this is not the first time we've tried to film this video for you folks, um, but maybe third try is a charm, and uh, <laughs> and it's, it's mid-November now. So this whole week has actually been pretty cool. We've got clear skies, as you can see, which has let all the heat out at night. So we've had some pretty cold nights, but beautiful sunny days, and this is one of them. So hopefully, hopefully the exposure and the cameras all actually work this time perfectly. All right, so let's see. We're going to bob all over the place. We're going to start by going into North Albany, and then we're going to go across the bridge into downtown Albany, and then we'll go into neighborhoods all over Albany proper, and then back to downtown Albany, and we'll finish actually getting some lunch at the Barn and Hickory Station unsponsored video, right? <laughs> so, but, so we're going north. We're in between Corvallis and Albany right now on Highway 20, as I said and we're about to turn left onto Northwest Scenic Drive, right? That's correct. All right, so we'll bop around North Albany a bit and then go into downtown Albany over the bridge. So Corvallis is maybe 10 minutes behind us at this point. About, yeah. Okay. All right, here we go. So if we kept going for a couple of minutes straight ahead, we would cross over the bridge and get into downtown Albany. But as we said, that's not what we're doing today. Or at least not what we're doing this instant. Let the tour begin. Woohoo! <laughs> All right, so fun fact, Michael. Yes. Uh, uh, the community that we know as Albany was originally called Takina by the Kalapuya. There were about 4,000 to 20,000 uh, Kalapuya. Uh, here in the Willamette Valley uh, in this area. Yes. And Tequina is actually uh, specifically meant for the word of the confluence of the deep pool of the Kalapuya River with the Willamette River here. The deep pool. Yes. Yes. And that was originally whereabouts? Do we know? Uh, yeah. So actually when we're crossing over the bridge right over by uh, Bryant Park, you'll see there's a big pool of just like kind of calm water there and that's Tequina. Okay. I love the history that you're going to bring into this one because I know some about the neighborhoods but you're going to really help us round this all out so thank you. Yeah. Um, later once uh, European settlers came, started coming over uh, uh, the first European settler was uh, Mr. Abner Hackelman from Iowa in 1849. Hackelman rings a bell. Mm -hmm. Why is that? Because that's one of our historic districts. So Albany is actually really well known for historic homes mm -hmm. and antiquing in the spring and summertime. Yeah. Um, then shortly followed by, uh, we actually had Walter and Thomas Monteith, who settled uh, just on the other side of the, where the Hackelman settled. Uh, and created the Monteith District and created their own little community known as Albany from their home, Albany, New York. Gotcha. Okay. I knew there had to be some kind of Albany connection mm -hmm. with, you know, I'm an East Coaster, so I think of Albany, New York. <laughs> exactly. Excellent. So we're going to see some really neat examples of some homes in both of those historic areas as we drive by them today. And... We're, I'm not sure we just passed. There was some kind of little party or event going on over there. It may have been a wedding. Nice. They really picked, wonderful day for a wedding. <laughs> they picked a good day for it. So 
this is really neat. So, you know, North Albany, North Albany is, is almost like its own entity. That's not the right word, but you know, you, you try hitting record and not saying something <laughs> silly for two hours, you know, right? Like North Albany is its own, its own pocket right here on scenic Boulevard. We're kind of next to like farm fields and then next to homes. North Albany has got a lot of great housing options. There's brand new construction. There's older established neighborhoods. There's a lot of different options. It's got really easy access to downtown Albany or downtown Corvallis. Um, so a lot of our clients actually, you know, they'll, they'll see like our YouTube videos, which are mostly about Corvallis, but we're trying to change that and expand, um, expand the videos. That is, we help people buy and sell homes in Albany every day. Um, so that's why we're trying to incorporate this is to, to show you that there's more to the mid Valley than just what some of our videos have already been showing. Um, in some ways, North Albany feels like its own like bedroom community for either of the other two proper. Exactly. And another really great thing about being in North Albany is you have some really wonderful running trails and really great cycling in this area. Yes. We've, we've got some client friends that live over here off 20th, I think it is, in North Albany. And they, they've been showing us some really fun pictures uh, from their runs of you know, different chicken coops they go by and farm stands and stuff like that. And we've got an elementary school that was off to the left. Forgive me for not knowing the name off the top of my head. Oak Grove. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and what we're about to do is actually go into some neighborhoods here, right? So we're going to turn on 24th. 24th. Yes. Okay. Um, and we're going to be going through the Benton Woods along with some, oh, I forget the builders through this neighborhood, Michael. Can you remember? Hayden and Dr. Horton. Oh right? yes, yeah. And right around here, we just sold a house for some folks on Paddington. Actually, mm -hmm. there's some um, progressive design build construction homes. Um, so kind of more like semi-custom, smaller builder, if that makes sense. And then here, as we turn on 24th, we've got. I think it's Hayden and Dr. Horton. I might be wrong. It might be more of one than the other. Um, but they're a bigger builder in the area, and we mm -hmm. work with them a lot. Yeah. Um, and, and Hayden's a good builder. So actually we're starting with, uh, you said Benton Woods, Benton right? Benton Woods, yeah. So Benton Woods is not brand new construction, but they're pretty new homes in the grand scheme of things. Let's say year 2000 and newer, right? Yeah. Uh, so basically that means that the trees are not little tiny sticks. They are established. They are trees proper. Right. This is a neighborhood where you've got trees that are as big as the houses, um, which is kind of a fun way to uh, emphasize the the vibe of the construction and the you know, neighborhood and the neighborhood as mm -hmm. you know as things get established that's what i'm looking for all right so so we've got you know 1990s homes and newer in general so this would fall in that range have you know certain characteristics that a lot of our clients really like you've got you know the whole open concept vaulted ceilings lots of storage um, lots of bathrooms compared to some of the really old homes that we also help people buy and sell. You know, you're going to find, you know, three bed, two and a half bath, not like three bed, one bath in these neighborhoods, right? Exactly. Um, and central heating and cooling systems. So, you know, we'll try to, as we go, we'll try to find some example pictures to show you of some of these homes even. And we're blasting right through that neighborhood, apparently. And now we're transitioning into a more older established part of 50s, North Albany. 60s, uh, a little bit of 70s through here. And these are really well constructed. Yes. Another big thing that people love about this area in particular is if you love shops, there's going to be a really great examples of shops all around the street that we're going on. Room especially for RV. off to the left here. Yeah. We just passed a big RV, big shop with like RV height doors over there. And these are definitely like bigger lots that you'd expect on older homes. Yes. Um, but they're really well maintained. There's a lot of pride and ownership in this area. And this is Squire Street, right? Yes. Okay. So, you know, we're going to try to give you a sampling smorgasbord of neighborhoods today. Some of them are going to be pretty quick, uh, but we're just going through like one part of it. And obviously there's more streets than what we were just driving on. But yeah, some, some really good lot sizes and, and big garages and shops definitely appealing to our folks. And this is not the only street that has those. There's other streets mm -hmm. parallel in either direction that are going to feel similar. All right. Now we're turning left onto Crocker. Crocker okay. is one of those big main thoroughfares. Really fantastic to know exactly, you know, if you're wondering where some more ma main thor thoroughfares are in Albany. Yeah. You need to know this road as you get acquainted with the North Albany. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go off to the right on Cluster Oak, mm -hmm. drive by some, 
homes from about maybe 2005 to 2015. Mm -hmm. We just sold a home up and off to the right for some folks um, as they moved into a bigger house closer to one of their moms. Um, and, and these have been lovely homes. There's even a few like up on this little hammerhead over here um, that are like custom, really new builds. We've got a bunch of clients right here. We're not gonna say names because we wanna you know, preserve some anonymity, but, um, <laughs> but, but we've, we've got a bunch of clients over the years living very happily in these homes, very well constructed. Um, these are, gosh, I don't know who the builder was, but I know that those back there were in Hayden Homes and then Hayden kind of transitioned and took over this part of the neighborhood. Um, Hayden Homes have a pretty distinctive architectural style. So I don't really know how to put it into words, but as you see like the, the hips and ridge combinations of the, the frontage, the elevations they call it, of the houses, you start to recognize like, oh, that's a Hayden home. Yeah. That works? Exactly. Okay. <laughs> so really nice neighborhood here in North Albany. And one of the things that we want to make sure we point out is that we are right by North Albany Park, right? Mm -hmm. It's basically across Crocker from here. Exactly. And that's a really popular park here. It's really big. It's really like well attended. It's if you are up in the North Albany area or thinking about it, definitely check out North Albany Park. Yes. And right about now, you should actually be seeing some drone footage, some aerial shots of that. So that's a great opportunity to say thank you very much to Chance Olufsen from Cascara Films <laughs> for doing all of the drone work that you see on this video and most of our others. Um, and another thank you, come to think of it, to our guy behind the scenes, Cody Thomas. Cody wears a lot of hats here on Team K Realty and he is the one tirelessly editing these videos for you. All right, so off to the right. Speaking of hating homes again, Hayden Homes is just finishing up this new development called Pheasant Run. Uh, I believe right now they have 10 lots left uh, as we speak, and they're planning on having those gone by the end of the year. Yes, and we've got three clients already calling Pheasant Run home, or I should say two already calling it home, one that's about to get keys. Exactly. Um, and Hayden, Hayden developed the entire neighborhood that we passed by off Cluster Oak on the other side of Crocker as well. Uh, we've got a number of clients over there on Ambleside Court. Um, what's neat about Pheasant Run, the value proposition that a lot of our folks have appreciated, is that it's brand new construction. Um, Hayden Homes does a lot of customization and personalization options. If you get in like early enough in the process with us, we can do a lot of you know fun, like pick your countertop, colors, all that stuff. And they also, in Pheasant Run, have bigger lots than a lot of the new construction neighborhoods. Exactly. Yeah, you have some you have some pretty good size yards back there by new construction standards. Uh, they do have an HOA, yes. but it's a pretty lenient HOA. That's a good way to put it. There are some neighborhoods like, let's say Willamette Landing in Southtown Corvallis that has particularly strict HOAs and that's not the feel of these neighborhoods. Exactly. They're, they're not as effective. <laughs> All right, where are we? Now we're down south. We're on Gibson, Gibson. Hill Road. Down south. We're still in North Albany. This is Gibson <laughs> Road, uh, Hill Road is another big thoroughfare going east and west. But uh, we're going to take a quick left onto Crittenden to continue on through the neighborhoods. Yes. So let's see. <laughs> we're going to let this impatient motorcyclist pass us in the bike lane, along with apparently some other cars. I drive like a grandma, what can I say? Might as well own it. <laughs> That's a friend of mine, come on. <laughs> I'm just, just kidding. <laughs> he doesn't like me that much. All right. Oh. <laughs> um, continuing on. Um, this is uh, definitely older, but there's definitely a lot of pride and ownership in this area as well. These are 50s, 60s as well. I think a couple 70s homes. I think getting into 70s on Crittenden, yeah. yeah. Um, super cute construction. Uh, you get some one levels, single levels. You definitely get some double levels as well. Um, and then we are just about to pass. Can I remember the park? Riverview Heights. Riverview Heights. Super cute little park here. Again, another really awesome park to come, especially for the playground. It's super cute. We've gotten the name wrong all the other times we've tried to film this, but bam! bam. Third tries a charm. <laughs> what, what? <laughs> I don't know, is that what kids say? Yeah, sure. Uh, sure, we'll yeah, that. we'll go with that. I'm good at pretending to be cool. Yeah, maybe. All right, <laughs> pretending is the operative part. So you got some, you got some really 
you know, really nice homes here, quiet neighborhood with very easy access to Gibson Hill Road, mm -hmm. uh, which goes east-west through North Albany, basically. And we're going to take a left here onto Broadway. Yes. And we actually just sold a house straight ahead of us here on Broadway, a five-bed, three-and-a-half bath house with a uh, second ensuite on the main level. Um, we'll try to show you a quick picture or video clip or something like that uh, because this is a very common housing product. There's a lot of variations of these floor plans right here on Broadway, Violet, and getting into Cascade Heights. And it's a really neat home. These are very well built, a um, little bit larger homes, square footage. Oh gosh, I don't know. Are these maybe 3,500 square feet? Something like that, I would say. The, one of the things that our clients have really liked about these floor plans um, is that the, a lot of the two-story ones here, they've got a, a big, expansive, just open space at the top of the stairs. It's like a 500 square foot, almost bonus room. Um, right on Violet. Right on Violet. Yes. And I've seen people set up ping pong tables up there or just really big sectional sofas and you know movie watching areas. It's, just, it's a really nice floor plan, nice yards well-kept pride and ownership neighborhood in North Albany. Mm -hmm. And we're passing by here on Violet, the, the old dressage horse facility. Mm -hmm. There's a truck out front. There wasn't there There's before. There's a couple trucks. So. so I wonder what they're doing something with it, but I haven't seen horses there in quite a while. Um, I, f I feel like that family actually sold it and moved to Eastern Oregon, something ah, like that. Well, speaking of Eastern Oregon, you can s might be able to see some of the cascades on some of our side footage looking over the dressage. Maybe. They might be really small, but we'll see. Yeah. They're bigger in person. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that's, thank you. <laughs> um, another thing that's noteworthy, if you've, if you've watched our video where I did a narrated driving commute from North Albany into downtown Corvallis. I started right here. So basically Violet, Court, past Cascade Heights, and then just back to Highway 20. So if you want to see the proximity to downtown Corvallis, that would be a way to do it. In case you were wondering, yes, it is trash day up in North Albany. Apparently. Uh, we're going to take a left here on Cascade Heights. Yes. Cascade Heights is a really nice pride and ownership neighborhood in North Albany. And as the name Heights would imply, you've got some good views here, actually. So again, we'll see if it shows off the cameras in between the houses. Uh, but a lot of these homes, especially up on the hill here, will have like balconies uh, with views of the Cascades. Oh my gosh, Cascade Heights, there you go. Mm -hmm. um, and some of these will be set up to have like, you know, walk out or daylight basements, I think off the back to accomplish the same thing, really trying to take advantage of that view. So lovely neighborhood in Northwest Albany with some, you know, good size homes. These aren't starter homes that are like a thousand square feet, obviously, um, with some really neat architectural elements and, and style. All right, where are we approaching from here, Noel? Ah, from here, we are just about to start approaching, actually, uh, the middle school, North Albany Middle School and Elementary School. Okay, so... We're going to see a little walking path. We're actually going to turn right on Quarry here. There we go. If that's what you were looking for. <laughs> um, I have no sense of direction. So off to the... <laughs> So as soon as Michael and I turn over here, off to the left, you'll see it's three yellow posts. That is the little walking path, and that actually takes you into the field of North Albany Middle School and Elementary School. Really great place to go and take your dogs uh, if they need to go and take go for a run. And shout out to our guy who just got a house up here on Quarry. Talked with him yesterday, by the way. Very much enjoying getting settled in. Oh, great. Yes. There are some really fantastic older homes in this area, along with some really lovely new homes as well. Yeah, and and being that close to the schools is a really nice part of this location. Those schools are very well regarded. Um, North Albany schools in particular um, are just especially well regarded. NAMS is the abbreviation for North Albany Middle School. So if you hear people talking about that in the local vernacular, is that the right <laughs> way to put it? Yep. Uh, now you can fit in and know what they're talking about. Um, if you are paying attention to the video, off to your right there is the Spencer Mountain Homes. Those are really excellent, very large homes. 
uh, that has some really wonderful views of the Cascades as well. Kind of like its own little gated community, right? Yeah, a little bit, but no gate. No actual gate? Yeah. Okay. Yep, so going by North Albany Middle School on the left, that's NAMS. So we're going to go nice and slow through the school zone, also known as my usual speed. <laughs> and then up ahead, North Albany Elementary School. We also have Thornton Lake, uh, which is separated to east and west. Uh, really lovely. Uh, one portion of the lake is going to be private. The other one is public, and they're actually making a park over on, it would be the eastern lake. Uh, eventually. It's still being in process, but you can walk over onto it. There is no parking spaces, though. You can actually see it right here on the left. Are we? Yeah, we're, we're passing over Thornton Lake right there. Mm -hmm. So Thornton Lake is like a long, skinny lake. It's, it's not like a great lake. Exactly. But it gives you a nice water feature for, for those neighborhoods. Exactly. All right, and now we are approaching the wonders of Hickory Station. Yes, so you got a, you got a nice, I, we need a better adjective than nice. You've got a really convenient, lots of options, commercial shopping area right here. Uh, great feature in North Albany. Grocery store, hardware store, you have a Starbucks, you have several really amazing restaurants, including the Bard. You also have a clinic up here, you have a gas station. And you also have part of the hospital along with SamFit, which is a really great gym. And Corvallis Clinic, even though this is Albany. Yeah. So. We're gonna come back here. We're gonna end the video at the barn at Hickory Station. I like to give Noelle a hard time uh, that you know she must own stock in them or something. Uh, but it's a food cart place that also has 30 beers on tap, right? Exactly. Yeah, so they've got something like 14 or 16 different food carts. 14 food carts, really amazing food Welcome options. to Albany, sorry. Welcome to <laughs> Albany, and you will also see a Tequina Park off to our right here. Yes. We're back on Highway 20, by the way, so if we had skipped that jaunt in North Albany and just kept going straight at the very beginning of this video, this is where we would have been. We're just back on Highway 20, about to cross the bridge into downtown Albany. Oh, don't forget the Spring Hill Country Club. Yes, thank you. All right, now we are going over the bridge. And off to your right, you'll see that confluence and deep pool known as Tequina. <laughs> and uh, Chance Olufsen from Cascara Films He's been doing drone shots all this week, helping us out as part of the creation of this video. So if you see different cloud patterns than we've got right now, uh, that would be why. But the weather is all still pretty similar. So, you know, our continuity experts might pick that out otherwise. <laughs> yeah. It'll be fine. <laughs> so this is the Willamette River that we're crossing over. So here's downtown Albany ahead of us. Uh, you know, Albany, Albany's got an awesome downtown. Um, mm -hmm. And it's kind of funny, I, I want to phrase this the right way so it's not misinterpreted. Albany didn't used to have as awesome of a downtown. They've done a lot of work in the past decade at this point mm -hmm. to really revitalize this downtown. And, and Albany's almost got an outdated reputation because, you know, Albany didn't used to have as many great, like, you know, restaurants and really classy bars. When we talk about bars here, we're not talking about like a place to just go get sloshed after work. We're talking about a place to like bring your sweetheart for a nice date. Like amazing restaurants down here, great cultural opportunities, uh, the Pix Theater. We're gonna try to rattle off a bunch of stuff as we go. But it's, this downtown absolutely rivals Corvallis's downtown at this point. And it's got a lot going for it. Not to mention a lot of historical charm. Exactly. All right, so one of those restaurants that you can take your sweetie to is, in fact, Sweet Red. Uh, really fantastic wine and food, and the charcuterie boards are amazing. Uh, let's see here. We also have brick and mortar, really great to go and have breakfast. Great cafe. Um, Jinda Thai, amazing Thai. Vault 244. Go, you just go. <laughs> okay, <Yeah. laughs> Vault 244 is a really great, another great place to take your sweetheart. Also a really great place to have some steak. Mm. There's some good steaks around here. And we just passed Gambaretti's, which is a very fine Italian restaurant. Had a lovely date with my wife there, um, thanks to a client who gave us a gift card, which was fun. <laughs> so lots of, lots of amazing little restaurants and local shops and businesses. Mm -hmm. um, bike Cy and hikes there. Cybris is also a really popular restaurant. I haven't been there yet, but I'm really excited. I've heard only really amazing things. Yes. Uh, right in front of us is the Albany Carousel. They have done an amazing job just decorating this and just doing an amazing job. They, all the horses there are hand carved and hand painted by craftsmen here in Albany. It is phenomenal to take your kids there. 
that's a really cool thing. I've been told that you get a much better deal if you just buy a bracelet for a bunch of rides as opposed to pay per ride or whatever that's it's called. That's good to know. Yeah. Ooh, if you look off to your right here, you see the Monteith home, the original uh, house that Monteith's built. It, at the time when it was built, was the finest home in Oregon. Hey, hey. <laughs> if you don't believe me, I have citations. Uh <laughs> like a Chevy citation? You got an old car? Yes. Nice. <laughs> Or we're um, talking historic. <laughs> I Exactly. Well, we have some really great boutiques. We also have really great antique shops right down through this street as well. Uh, and just really great uh, things such as the Pix Theater. The Pix Theater. So you can eat food, enjoy adult beverages, all while watching movies there, right? Exactly. Old City Hall. We have a client friend exhibiting at Albany oh, City yeah, Hall right now right. with his um, hummingbird paintings which are there until the end of December, I found out yesterday. Shout out, right back down the street is the Natty Dresser, really great menswear. Uh, and there, oh, this is such a packed intersection I know, here. this is a, such a packed intersection. Novax is a really great restaurant. Margin Coffee. Margin Coffee is amazing. Um, antique stores, secondhand stores. The Albany Antique Mall is right there on mm -hmm. Kitty Corner. That's that's my favorite one, I love that place. Oh, and Sprinkles, really, really popular little bakery as well. Yeah, so there's a lot going on here, and we're we're only going through a little part of downtown. Are we going on third? Uh, yes, we are. We're turning right, in fact. Okay. If you keep going straight, that would be your route to go towards other neighborhoods and Highway 99 and, like, the Costco, Knox Butte area. This gentleman's waving us along, so I'm going to go. Thank you. <laughs> All right, and we're going to continue down this street, and we're going to take a left on Washington. Okay, left on Washington from here. So yes. that's just a quick snip at a downtown Albany. Um, let us know in the comments below if you want us at some point to maybe do a walking tour of downtown Albany where we can just walk around for 45 minutes or an hour and talk about lots more places and maybe show you clips inside too. Oh my gosh, the Lego store in downtown Albany, Brick Circuit, <gasps> is having a, a holiday event I think this weekend. Oh really? That's, that's a really cool place, yeah. That is super cool. Actually, if you continue on this road, you'll go over to Bryant Park. Am I going to or go left? Uh, you're actually going to go left here, but if you continued, okay. you know, in the future people when you're here in person. <laughs> Person. You can go over to Bryant Park, really fantastic park to go to, a uh, really great disc golf course. Yes, a bunch of good disc golf opportunities throughout the Mid-Valley. All right, and continuing on, we are going to take a right on 6, but we're hitting the heart of the Monteith District. This is a really amazing uh, section for older homes. If you love older homes, definitely check this section of town out. Yes. We've got a bunch of clients that are in some really charming older homes. This this church off to the right, there's a lot of um, well, beautiful. older beautiful older churches like that in downtown yeah. Albany. Yeah. So that's White Spires, which is obviously it makes sense with the architecture of the building. I like names that make sense. I yeah. know, me too. <laughs> All right, turning west on 6th now. Mhm. Mm we're going to continue on to this until we hit Elm, and we're going to see some beautiful older homes. We're also oh, going to yeah. see a bit Look at of... This one. Yeah. I know. Uh, and we're also going to see a bit of the hospital here, too. Yeah, Albany's got really great medical care. The hospital is in southwest Albany, basically southwest downtown. It's right there. So we talked about some of the medical care in north Albany, but there's also great medical care throughout. Exactly. Yeah, there's, there's some just lovely charming neighborhoods full of you know older homes and actually historic you know historic registered homes um, i think in the springtime there's a tour of historic homes there right? is there is a tour of historic homes we actually have a uh, one client who has had their home previously actually on the tour of homes and was featured on the front page of the uh the herald nice uh, we're going to take a left here, and we're going to see the front of the Samaritan Hospital. I'm just kind of laughing at myself because I've managed to miss this turn on previous attempts while we've been filming this. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see if we end up showing any bloopers or not, but they're, I... they're pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we have promised the people a blooper reel sometime in the future. Someday, so. someday, yeah. 
That'll include me like hitting a curb, doing one of these, and the hubcap <laughs> rolling away, and all kinds of good stuff. It's great. It's wonderful. But great medical care, basically right in downtown Albany. I mean, this is, I would call this walking distance from downtown Albany. All right, and we're going to continue on Elm, and we're going to take a right on 9th Street. Okay. Is our next direction. Which is here. So we're going to go a little bit further west on 9th, and then we're going to go south, right? Uh, we're going to take a left on Tequina. It's on Tequina. Mm -hmm. That'll take us by Schools and Parks, if I recall. That is correct. Perfect. And we're going to still see some more older homes in this area. They're just so adorable. I'm looking off to one on our left here. That is just the cutest. I think I've been in that home. It was for sale a couple years ago. Really? Yeah. Oh, man. I feel like it had a really fun basement that actually had, like, painting to make it look like a wine cellar. Ooh. Yeah. Ah, here we go. Here's the left on Takina I've been talking about. Thank you for making that foolproof. <laughs> Okay. Again, this is just a really great neighborhood with older homes and really big pride and ownership of these older homes as well. And really wonderful walkable area. Yeah, we often see people just, you know, outside gardening, taking their dogs for a walk, pushing a stroller out for a walk. You just, you know, you see a lot of pedestrian activity in this area. It gives it a really nice vibe. Mm hmm. All right, school zone. School zone. Uh, let's see here. We have Takina Elementary School right over here. Uh, you might actually see it off to our right here. I think we're going to pop up the drone and have Chance show you some of the area from above, actually. And now watch me be wrong, and you're just watching us drive. So. <laughs> uh, we'll find out, I guess. It will be just fine. And then we're facing a school up ahead on Queen. Which school is that? That would be West Albany High School. Is that home of the Bulldogs? That is home of the Bulldogs. I get one right a day. All right. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then also right next door to it is Memorial Middle School. So really easy for you guys to just be able to get your kids to school. There are lots of really good elementary schools. And the high school and middle school here are super easy to gain access to. Yes. All right, I'm feeling a lot of left turns here. I thought we planned this so that I didn't have to make any left turns. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, I did it. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. Nice. Thank you. <laughs> Okay. Hit, hit the like button for me, <laughs> turn, turning, <laughs> turning left, left successfully, yeah. <laughs> or whatever people do on YouTube. So Bulldogs, West Albany, and then Memorial Middle School's right there. Mm -hmm. Did I get that right? West Albany. Yep. Okay. All right, so this is another way into town, come to think of it. Behind us on mm -hmm. Queen, this would be another just way that you would connect into Albany from outside of Albany. There's exactly. a bunch of different ways. We came initially on Highway 20, but you could have also taken like Queen, Riverside, Waverly, or come over from I-5. Mm -hmm. Or 99. There's so many ways to get into Albany. It's yeah. really convenient for wherever you're going. And it, that also means it's easy to get out of Albany, which sounds weird to say. Let me correct that. <laughs> it's great for commuter access. Exactly. Right? Uh, we have a lot of clients that will prefer living living in Albany because they need to be able to you know, go north or south, go in and out of Corvallis, hop on I-5, go down to Eugene, go up to Salem, um, and it's really easy to do all those things. All right, Michael, I'm going to make this foolproof for you. You're going to turn right on 99. Yeah, I think what was also going... Also known <laughs> as Pacific Boulevard. I'm sorry for people who come to Oregon. They're like, the street has changed its name three times. I have no explanation for that. And if you remember from the Corvallis driving tour and Philomath driving tours, that is a common thing in the Mid Valley. They love just giving streets multiple names to make it confusing. All right, so downtown's behind us, and now we're... Yeah, we're on 99, also known as Pacific Boulevard, as you just said. Thank you. Um, so what we're going to do here is we're going to go south for a couple of minutes towards Lynn Benton Community College. Mm -hmm. And the, there are some neighborhoods off to the right that Cascara Films has a drone up. I'm pretty sure I saw it go by just now. Um, oh, and wow. <laughs> tell us a little bit about those, actually, because um, there, there's some good appeal to those, even though we're not driving directly yes. through it. So uh, this neighborhood has a lot of 50s and 60s homes, really well done. Really big pride in ownership, really beautiful area over there. Uh, definitely something to check out if you love 50s and 60s homes. Yeah. But it's still really great commuter access to both Albany proper and 
Corvallis. And in particular, you emphasized when we were talking about this that there's a lot of really large lots, right? Yes. Yeah. So are there even like half acre lots on some of those homes? Occasionally. Okay. But definitely pretty large lots. Nice. So heading south towards Lynn Benton Community College, you got some of those neighborhoods off to the right. Obviously you've got some, you know, commercial zoning here too. There's the YMCA. This is 34th, right? Um, mm -hmm. So we're going to come back after we go by the next neighborhood. We're going to come back up 99 and turn right there on 34th and go into Southeast Albany. Exactly. For now, we're just heading on to what we like to call, at least on Team K, Animal Kingdom. Right. So this is a neighborhood in south, in like deep southwest Albany, right by Lynn Benton Community College. And it's got an official name. I don't remember what it is. Um, but in real estate, we call it Animal Kingdom because all the street names are animals. So Disney, please don't sue us. It's not, you know, we're not trying <laughs> we to imply. We not represent the company nor the brand. Right. We're not trying to imply it's actually employed? the Animal Kingdom. <laughs> but it's like Bear, I don't know, Bear Run, Salmon Drive, Chinook Street, Deer Street, like Cougar, Cougar Avenue. Mm -hmm. Like it's all animal names. And it's a really nice neighborhood. It's 1990s construction. So you've got, by, in the grand scheme of things, fairly new construction. Um, I live in a 1990s home, very similar to this. And, you know, basically as long as someone's done the roof at some point recently um, and maybe serviced or replaced the HVAC, you're good to go. You know, they're really well insulated. They have updated electric and plumbing, open concept, vaulted ceilings, lots of bathrooms, lots of storage, lovely neighborhoods. And this is one of those. So we're heading into it. Or rather, blah, 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 or rather heading towards it now over on 53rd Street. And if we kept going south for a few more minutes on 99, we would be able to hop onto I-5, right? Or yeah. no. No, um, you would be hitting 34, which then you could take to I-5. 34 being the stretch in between uh, Corvallis and I-5. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Gosh, we nailed it today. This is a beautiful fall day. It is fabulous. This is, so this year, pretty much everything has been late in terms of the season. So typically November is not as spectacular in terms of fall color like this. Yeah, but this is a, this is a really good one. Um, and you know, the weather around now, okay, Elk Run, we're gonna, Brookfield. Brookfield is the official name, not Animal Kingdom. There was a sign there. Mm, it's still Animal Kingdom. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the, the weather around now would would normally be a little bit, you know, a little bit weather wetter. It would be a little bit more overcast, and we'd start to see more drizzle. But again, everything's lagging behind lately. Slash, we also got most of our November rain earlier in November. We had quite a few days of pretty heavy rain. That's right. We actually, we actually had snow a couple weeks ago. Which was weird. Yeah, Doug Killen Friendship Park. So really lovely um, park right in the middle of this neighborhood and there is an HOA in this neighborhood but basically just for the park you know it's maybe 150 200 bucks a year not per month and you've got this awesome park I'm gonna go by the park on one more leg so to speak here and this way you get a little bit more view of the neighborhood as well yeah bonus footage <laughs> <laughs> So we've, we've got a bunch of clients here. I guess we could say that about most neighborhoods at this point. Um, and what they really like about this is that, you know, they, they love the construction of the homes. They love the sense of community in this neighborhood and the park. And they really like being close to Elimbenton Community College as well. Um, you've got like two minutes of road in between here, probably in LBCC. And Lynn Benton Community College, you know, we move a lot of people here to be not just students in the education aspect of the community, but also teachers. Um, and there's really great adult ed opportunities there too. My wife actually takes advantage of that and does a lot of art classes throughout the year. Okay, so deer run, antelope run, elk run. Got some solar panels on that house ahead of us. That's actually a good opportunity to talk about the viability of solar. I feel like I've been talking a lot. Do you want to oh, yeah, hit I'll, that one? I will definitely hit that one. Yeah. So solar panels are a viable and great thing to put here in the Willamette Valley. While you would think, like, isn't most of the year, like, 
cloud covered and raining, you still get sunlight through, but it's not going to be able to power your home fully during the winter. So we actually produce more solar during the summer. And so if you have your solar connected to the electrical grid, you can actually send that extra power that's uh, fueling your home back into the electrical grid for $10. And they, the power company will actually just continue letting you use the power you made over the summer to take care of the rest of the year. To help wash it out in the winter? Exactly. So come to think of it, I spaced, I didn't say this while we were on Cluster Oak in North Albany, uh, but one of those homes that we just sold had a 24 panel solar system on top mm -hmm. of it, and it was a net zero home. Um, and that was a, a large two story home. Our folks there charged two electric vehicles while living there and worked and lived in their house and powered machinery too. Mm -hmm. And and they had no power bill other than that $10. Other than yeah. that $10. Just to stay connected to the grid, but they had a net zero home, including charging electric vehicles. So solar is viable in the Mid Valley. All right, so we have left, was it Brookfield? Yes. Brookfield, AKA Animal Kingdom. Um, and we're just heading back to Pacific Boulevard, uh, Pacific Boulevard, also known as <laughs> Highway 99. And what we're gonna do here is, since you already saw this stretch of road, we're gonna time warp and just go really fast motion um, until we get up to 34th Street, and then we'll turn right and go into some Southeast Albany neighborhoods. See you in a bit. See you in a bit. Okay, welcome back, folks. All right, we're gonna be turning right here and we're going to be passing by the YMCA. MCA. Yay, we did it. Finally in unison. Finally. Um, <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're building a huge facility. They're building yeah. a huge, huge facility, really great. Uh, uh, currently right now, uh, my husband and I are going to the YMCA. Uh, while our gym is uh, remodeling, and it's really fantastic, and they have really great programs for kids. Nice. All right, so we are on 34th. We're going east on 34th, and we're going to show you uh, map screenshots as we go to, so we really hope that's helpful. Um, and what we're going to do now is we're going to go north on, I think it's called Madison? Right? Yes. North on Madison and just go by a wonderful little neighborhood that's got some great like starter homes and mid-range homes um, across the street from an elementary school. I'm spacing on the name. We'll, um, we'll I, see it in a moment. Uh, you might be thinking of Sunrise? Maybe. Yeah, yeah. I think it's Sunrise. Okay, that would work. And then we'll come back, cross over this road again, and we'll go by Chartwell Station on Carisdale um, and just start really seeing some more of these Southeast Albany neighborhoods. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Southeast Albany, we are a little bit further away from downtown and we have a better value proposition. There's some more affordability to some of these homes too. Um, and there's some great neighborhoods. We've got a lot of clients um, in and out right here. All right. So I'm that... even thinking of one that has a really lovely classic historic home here on Marion. Yes. Yeah, with the three-car garage from earlier mm -hmm. this year. That was a really cool home. Beautiful home. Shout out to you guys. You know who you are. We yep. hope you're enjoying your <laughs> lovely home. Got some multiplexes and some condos here, too. We've got some clients that are happily living in those um, condos off to the left. Good housing option, especially if you're just getting started. And I just want to make sure I don't miss the turn. You're going left on Madison. I don't think we've hit it yet. There's some really nice apartments up ahead and to the right, but we are turning here on Madison. I think those are plum tree apartments up ahead and to the right. Yeah. Um, we actually have a, a friend and colleague in the office who lives in one of those. They are very well maintained, very well managed. Mm-hmm. All right, we're going to continue on Madison for a while. And in fact, I believe we are going to be passing right by Sunrise. Yes. And so uh, we're actually going to make this part pretty quick. But we've got Sunrise Elementary School. And these homes, we just gave keys just over a year ago to a family up ahead and to the right. Oh, yeah. Um, and, you know, these are great, like, starter oh, homes La and mid-range homes. They changed homes. the name of this, Lafayette Elementary. Lafayette. 
Did they change the name, or are we just having a brain fart? Maybe we're having a brain fart, but I barely... It might barely, be the latter. <laughs> it's one of the two. I'm sorry, people. <laughs> we can't we're, fat check on the, on the road. We're, we're doing our best. Um, but these are great here, you know, single story, like three bed, two bath ranches with, you know, good sized backyards, like medium sized backyards, wonderful homes to get started with or downsize into, you know, whatever the case may be. And obviously really close access to Lafayette Elementary School. And I think the middle school is here up on the left as well. There's a yeah. lot of schools with just like instant access, which is We're awesome. going to be turning right here. Okay. Phenomenal. All right. And then we're going to be turning left onto South Hill or just right onto Hill. Right onto Hill. We've got it. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> so really, really close proximity to, you know, schools, YMCA, um, some convenience stores, some restaurants that we haven't passed by yet, um, and a couple of ways in and out of Albany from this neighborhood, from this area. There is in the, uh, I want to say like early summer, a really fantastic uh, garden tour in Albany. And there are some uh, homes that are actually featured down here for their exceptional gardens. I did not know that. Yeah. Is it the Tour de Garden? I think it is the Tour de Garden. Why not, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're going to cross back over 34th. This was the street we were on before taking that quick loop. And we're going to just keep going south on Hill and go by Chartwell Station and then Moraga, Madrona, and connect over to Waverly. Mm -hmm. So 34th, you know, main road in Albany that you need to know about. Pacific Boulevard, 99, that we came in on a few minutes ago. Main road you need to know about. Waverly on the other side, main road you need to know about. We're just kind of in between 99 and Waverly right now. Maybe not halfway, but somewhere around there. Okay, so we've got some, I think, 70s ranches off to the right. Some of these actually are duplexes, some are single family. We've got some Hayden homes uh, kind of thrown in here. We're on the edge of a Hayden home neighborhood. So those are probably 90s or 2000 or a little bit newer. Mm -hmm. Got the Plum Hill or Plum Tree apartments off on the other side of those. And now we are heading into Chartwell Station. Chartwell Station is a little bit nostalgic for me. My first, I think it was my first listing ever, was over there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you've told me that. I've told you that many times. You yeah. have, but you know, <laughs> but I don't get sick of it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so there is a small HOA in this neighborhood as well because they've got this adorable little playground area, like a little park for, for hanging out in. And then I don't remember the builder. I feel like I've said that every time. I don't remember the builder. This looks to me like it might have been Hayden or D.R. Horton or someone with a similar architectural style. Mm -hmm. um, but these are, these are going to be like mid-size homes um, by newer construction standards because this is probably 90s, late 90s homes, I think. Um, so a lot of these are two-story, probably on average like a four-bed, two-and-a-half bath. All right, and what we're going to do here is we're going to exit this neighborhood. This is a small neighborhood anyway, but we're going to exit right here. On the drone. Oh. Moraga. Moraga. They're both M's. And, and nearby on Madrona, I think. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we'll see. <laughs> it's all good. There we go. There nope. we go. Del Rio. Was that yeah. what we were going to do? Yeah, that's what we were going to do. Sure, why not? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to go by here because there's some multifamily, um, and these are worth showing off too, because we actually work with a lot of investor clients. So investor clients, we want you to know that there are some great multifamily investment properties around here. And we also help a lot of people that find us on YouTube actually just settle in 
to rentals and we don't we're not leasing agents but we still help we can give you resources and guide you along the way and there's a lot of multifamily rental opportunities like this as well as apartment complexes that we can point you towards so felt like it was good to show off um, an area like this too and come to think of it I really want to emphasize we work with a lot of investor clients that's a big part of the client base of Team K Realty. Um, that's actually my background. I've been investing in rental properties longer than I've even been helping other people do real estate. So you got some good multifamily here and some smaller single family starter homes and rental properties too. Exactly. So coming up here, we're gonna take a left onto Waverly. That's one of those big thoroughfares again in Albany. Yes. And it runs north and south through the town. So it's a really good one to keep an eye on. Yeah, you've got Waverly, some neighborhoods, and then I-5 mm -hmm. if we're going further and further east. And I think the next neighborhood we're going to actually pop into is off of Waverly. It's the Lexington, right? Yes. Okay. That's a really nice neighborhood too. We'll talk about that as we get there. Um, some great starter homes around here. I'm just like, you know, thinking back, nostalgic memories of, uh, nostalgic memory, whatever, <laughs> <laughs> of showing a lot of these homes um, to some of our, you know, first time home buyers. Straight ahead of us, you can see Waverly Park, in fact. And since I drive really slow and we're doing the camera thing, I'm gonna sit here for just a second and let this car go by. Oh, because I was going to say otherwise they're going to be stuck behind us, but oh well. <laughs> <laughs> we get some strange looks doing these. One, because I'm a, you know, iffy, yeah, average driver, whatever. Um, but two, because we've got GoPros suction cupped all over the place. And people are like, what are you guys doing? It's like, we promise <laughs> we're not spying on you or whatever. And then they're like, what's the drone for? We're like, we promise we're not spying on you. <laughs> all right, now we're on Waverly. We're going north. So behind us, south on Waverly, um, we've got, let's see, you've got some neighborhoods, you've got some homes, you've got the Mennonite Village, mm -hmm. um, great like assisted living, medical care, post-op care, mm -hmm. stuff like that, and then just kind of farm fields, right? This is one of the ways into town. Exactamundo. Yeah. We have a school up off to the left. I'm going to forget. Help me out here. What's uh, the name? This is South Albany High School, which it has the mascot of... Is it like the Red Hawks? Good job! Okay, got it. <laughs> <laughs> I... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> These are... I, I have to give him quiz questions to keep him on his toes. <laughs> okay. Um, so we're coming up to, and we're going to take a right onto 21st. Some lovely neighborhoods off to the side here too. This Mountain View Drive, um, lovely, looks like lovely, mostly two-story homes, great quality construction. Um, and there was a sign, the Albany Community Pool, I think is inside of the school over there, right? Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. So that's another good thing to know about. We have a lot of people that enjoy swimming, uh, which is mostly indoors in the Mid Valley. <laughs> Here's the end of 34th. We were just on 34th over there. This is the end of 34th. And what we're gonna do now is go north for just another moment on Waverly. And then we're gonna turn on, I think it's 21st, right? Yep. Okay, we're gonna turn on 21st and go into the Lexington neighborhood. So the Lexington is a 1990s neighborhood. We've got a bunch of clients that are happily living there as well as a bunch of clients that own rental properties there, come to think of it. A um, lot of pride in ownership, great park in the Lexington neighborhood, um, and opportunities to have single family homes and multifamily. The whole area of the Lexington that like abuts I-5 has a bunch of multifamily that people buy as rentals. our left turn onto 21st. Yes, and then we're gonna come back out right around here, and then we'll time warp maybe for a minute so you don't see the same piece of road twice. Ridgewood Square, you got convenience stores, some little yeah, restaurants, U.S. Market. Uh, 
And now we're going on to 21st towards Lexington. Perfect. Let's talk a little bit about rentals, actually. We've got a client with a single family house that's an investment property over on Edgemont right there. Um, welcome to the Lexington, Lexington Park, lovely park right here. Um, did I go the wrong way just now? No, no, you're fine. I totally went the wrong way. We were going to go the other side of the park, weren't we? <laughs> uh, no, we, we were going to drive around the park. I'm going to drive around the yeah, park. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, here we go. <laughs> Watch me do it. <laughs> right on Lexington. So you're good. You're good. So uh, speaking of rental properties, so, you know, Albany, Albany is a normal town. Um, and I say that as opposed to a college town, right? Corvallis is a college town. Um, help a lot of investors in particular buy rental homes in Corvallis. But there's, there's a thriving population of folks that are buying investment properties in Albany as well. And they just rent more to like normal people turn left here. than college kids. Um, and and that's definitely a viable option. And you've got a better price point in Albany than you do in Corvallis, um, with it having a different market, and not being a right college town. So definitely want to highlight that to the investment side of things as well. A long, long time ago. <laughs> sometime in the past decade. Um, there was actually a person who worked at Remax and I, I helped them. I don't know where we're going. <laughs> uh, so. <laughs> it's okay. It's fine. It's, this is sometimes we're just going to change this up just a little bit. Uh, we're going to go to the stop sign here and we're going to take a right on Mount Vernon. So here we're getting to the end of the Lexington neighborhood, and you can see this little sign for like Lexington at the park, and these are all duplexes, and there's a bunch of fourplexes and stuff over there too. So this is, this is the end of the neighborhood that butts up to I-5, um, and even here it's, it's not actually that noisy unless you're like literally facing the interstate from your window or something. And then we are going to take a right here on 27th. There we go. There we go. We, we, we got this back around somehow. Yep. All right. I feel like I was about to say something and then I got lost. What were we about to say? Uh, something lovely. Oh, yeah. The, so a long time ago, at some point early in my career, long before you were working with me, <laughs> Mm -hmm. um, I got to actually help a Remax employee, a staff member, buy her first home with her family right over here on like 27th and Boston. Oh, really? Uh, and then she became a realtor, which is pretty cool too. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. Yeah, there's, the, these are, you know, good quality homes you, that, that work really well for, you know, first time home buyer, smaller homes, mid range, mid size homes, all that. You know, 1990s and newer, you just don't have a lot of maintenance issues, like some of those 50s, 60s, 70s homes, mm -hmm. where we often have more involved conversations about electrical and plumbing and stuff like that. So there's, there's really something to be said for this vintage of home. <laughs> <laughs> this is a quality vintage. Good year. Yeah, good year. 95 was a really good year for asphalt composition changes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. I think we're back onto our regularly scheduled driving route, and we're going to be turning right back onto Waverly. So you'll see a little bit more of Waverly. Yeah, I think we're going to time warp you for the one minute of this since you already saw this, and then we're going to turn left onto 20th. 20th, right? Mm hmm. Okay. Zoom. Zoom, zoom. All right, so we're, we're pointing north on Waverly, and now we are west on 20th. And 20th and 21st kind of combine up ahead here, right past the Albany uh, Community Christ Church. And, you know, again, love giving things multiple names. <laughs> so, <laughs> there's a lot of neighborhoods like this. I mean, we're, we're just scratching the surface, obviously, when we do these driving tours for you. There's a lot of neighborhoods like this that, you know, just have 
great homes in them with really easy access to main thoroughfares, but they're quiet neighborhoods. Um, you know. Really easy to walk around, easy to take the family out, and you also have are usually really close to schools, such as we're going to be passing right by Perry Winkle School Elementary School. Oh, that's right. So this is Periwinkle Elementary School, and there's a park right next to it. Periwinkle Park. Periwinkle Park. All right. Pretty sure we've got some drone footage happening, so we'll show you that interspersed here as well. And um, I've got some folks that live, I think, right off like Chicago and 21st, right over here, because mm -hmm. Chicago is discontinuous. Um, it stops, stops and starts all over. And they really love being this close to the park because their grandkids love to play out there. Yep, Aww. there's Chicago on the left. You've also got some apartments off to the right. So, you know, if you're looking to get settled into this area and just settle into a rental first, as opposed to buying the day you get here, um, you know, a lot of great apartment complexes that are well managed that we can point you towards. And I know people don't want to move twice. We hear that all the time. Uh, but, you know, if you're willing to settle into a rental first, then it gives you a lot of confidence for really knowing how the neighborhoods feel uh, when we're house hunting together and tends to, tends to result in the process working even better. All right, so we are going right on to Gary. We're passing by the infamous Pink Elephant mailbox. It was just behind us, actually, yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and we are just about to pass Simply Ramen. Simply Ramen is so good. Yes, really good noodles there. I love it. Really amazing noodles. We're passing over Queen again. Another really awesome thoroughfare through Albany. Oh, we're hitting the light, apparently, at Queen. <laughs> I think this happened last time we tried to do this, too. I think it did. There was a really friendly pedestrian, like, jamming out on a... On some, head, a some headphones headset. or something. Yeah. Yeah. Samaritan Health Services. What do we got there? Family medicine, pharmacy, and... Patient care. Patient care. So, again, you know, great medical care, great infrastructure for that, uh, which is something that a lot of our clients care about because a lot of our clients work in the medical field, or a lot of people move to this area to retire and mm -hmm. want great medical care. Exactly. And my my phone has got a little alert that says like caution, red light camera. There it is. It's it's pointing right at us. So you know, <laughs> be a be a conscientious driver and don't don't break the rules. Get, don't do it. Yeah, don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> don't speed through the red. Actually, there's a bunch of great medical care up here. The, um, the optical place maybe was right behind us. Uh, I took a good friend there to get laser surgery. Oh, good. And there's some really good shopping here, right? Yeah. We got the Applebee's up here. We have uh, Ross. We have Target. We have Old Navy. We have Marshalls. Uh, oh, there's America's Best Contacts and Eyeglasses, Hobby Lobby, Heritage Mall is a really popular one. There is an RC car place that Michael has still not che checked out yet. I need to check it out. I like flying, flying RC, radio control, planes and stuff. Um, yeah, Heritage Mall, I end up here usually for Target. And, you know, when you need your performance fleece, you go to Old Navy, right? Sponsor uh, us, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> or Target, please sponsor me for my sometimes going through your home decor section. <laughs> uh, this, this Target is a particularly well-acclaimed Target, so it's a Target Plus. Mm-hmm. A Plus? No. <laughs> Target Plus. Target Plus, yeah. Um, Johnny Carino's, or maybe just Carino's Italian, mm -hmm. is a is a fun chain Italian restaurant um, that I've heard a lot of people really like. I've been there before getting clients gift cards for like little congratulations things I've yet to actually eat there. If you're looking for a really good place for drinks and tacos, Blue Agave is also located in the Heritage Mall. It's the same people who have owned Tacos El Machine. Really good food. Really good food. Highly recommend. You had Tacos El Machine cater your wedding, correct? Yes, I did. Yes, and we have them cater a lot of our a lot of our uh, real estate events too now. Exactly. <laughs> Not sponsored, but open to it. Open to it. <laughs> we love tacos. <laughs> Please, tacos for real estate. <laughs> 
All right, now we went through this little zipper. Um, so that is Santiam Highway and like also the Also known as 99 Boulevard. too. 99 as well. Because, you know, we need three names for a street. You do. I think you do. Uh -huh. um, the Albany Verizon store is right ahead of us. Very well run Verizon store. That's probably my favorite. Uh -huh. um, there's a Harbor Freight tools shop over there too and a Lowe's right behind us. There's also Petco over here and I forgot to mention when we were in downtown there's Sniffany's Boutique Sniffany's. Sniffany's. I love it. Yes. Right. Uh, really great place. I love to take Neva there to go and get some treats when she's being <laughs> a very good girl. I'm sure she always is. Yes. So let's see what are we doing now? Now we are going by a bunch of the you know in addition to Heritage Mall a bunch of the commercial shopping stuff right here and we're going to kind of pass through this pass by the Costco and head over into the Knox Butte area in Northeast Albany and go to some neighborhoods there. There are some businesses going along through here as well. Sam City has amazing pho. Yes. Uh, we also have the Albany Liquor Store for your liquor store needs. Um, as whatever long as, they may be. What, whatever they may be. Uh, and uh, Los Campadres, which is a really good Mexican market bakery and grocery store. Mm. I really want a burrito. <laughs> All right, I, let's, really, I really want tacos. <laughs> let's let's pre-plan. So we're going to finish this video at the Barnet Hickory Station. They've got 14 food carts. Love that place. Uh, last time I was there, I had a sushi burrito. Mm -hmm. um, the time before that, I had a really good, excuse me, really good barbecue plate um, with like, gosh, what was it? No, I had a Hawaiian plate lunch. Yes. Yeah, it was like shredded chicken and steak and mac salad and rice. There was a really good barbecue place that I had the time before. Do mm -hmm. um, so they have any good burritos, tacos in any of they those? They do. They do have a wonderful Mexican food cart that is just phenomenal. Uh, my mom really loves to come with us because she lo is addicted to the birria tacos. Nice. Um, let's see here. They have an amazing Indian food cart. I frequently go there as well. Um, and also really love uh, the Japanese grill there. That is also a really fabulous one, along with the Venezuelan food cart. Excellent. So folks, if, if this is your first time tuning into the channel, um, obviously we've got a great playlist of driving tours, narrated driving tours, but there's a lot of videos in the like best of series. And it's a little bit of a misnomer because you know we our office is in Corvallis. A lot of our videos are about Corvallis. Uh, but what we're trying to do is expand and show off some of our favorite things about Albany, Philomath, you know, the whole Mid Valley. So at some point, I'm sure we'll make Taco Vallis and it will not just be tacos in Corvallis. We'll make a food cart Vallis one too, and it'll include all the surrounding areas. And um, we'll, we'll have to, I don't know, put a link to that playlist in the description below or maybe on the screen if we remember how to do that. <laughs> But definitely check that stuff out because most of our viewers are people, probably such as yourself, who are thinking of moving here and you're doing the research, right? You're in the research phase. So that's the idea behind these videos. We want to answer questions for you and help you make informed decisions for a new chapter in your life. Which may depend on tacos. Which may depend on tacos. All right, so this is definitely the Knox Butte kind of area. We've got the Costco off to the right. Love this Costco. <laughs> uh, it's the only Costco in the area, but love this Costco. Um, we also have a Kohl's. We have a Winco over here as well. Winco is a 24-7 grocery store, for those of you that might not be from the Northwest. And that stands for... Washington, Washington Idaho, Nevada, Colora Colorado. And yeah. Oregon. And Oregon. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> And I think it's an employee-owned grocery store, too. I feel like That's a true. friend of ours actually worked there for a long time, had great benefits, and it was a good place to work. All right, and on this section, we're going to be going on to Knox Butte, but if you took a left here, it's easy access to I-5 North. Right. Just a, a moment north of us on either Old Salem Road or I-5, uh, is Millersburg, which is kind of like its own pocket of farther northeast Albany. Um, let us know in the comments below if you'd like kind of an outskirts of Albany narrated driving tour. We can do that as well. We did that for Corvallis due to demand, and hopefully that's something you guys would be interested in here too. 
I just, love, love that plane. Yeah. <laughs> we're passing by the Albany Municipal Airport. This is just for smaller planes, but it's really great if you are a plane enthusiast. Yes. And so we've got the Lynn County Fair and Expo Center. Mm -hmm. I really enjoy going to like the Albany Home Show there. Oh, yeah. Uh, also, the uh, Art and Air Festival is also featured over here as well. This features a whole bunch of big air balloon, hot air balloons. So definitely come out and check that out. And you know we love that because that's Remax's logo as a hot air balloon mm -hmm. way back when they sponsored a hot air balloon race or something like that. That's right. All right. We are turning north on Clover Ridge Road. Mm-hmm. And we're going to go see some neighborhoods here as well. So let's see. What are we going to do? We're going to go by... This is all like the weather weather area. We've got yes. like we're, Whirlwind, we're, Twister, Breezy, Gusty. Those are the names of the streets here. Those are the names of the streets here. But the street we're looking for is Windy, which today is not. <laughs> we'll, we'll see if I can find it. <laughs> But definitely some newer homes in this area. Really lovely. Um, very easy access for commuters to I-5. Very easy commuter access. And it's also super easy to go into Albany proper for any of your Albany needs. All right, I think this is it. Yep, windy. All right. So I know we talk a lot about like Hayden Homes because they're a they're a predominant builder and they're a good builder in this area. Um, and yep, there we go. And now we're starting to see some Hayden Homes here. Uh, this is not brand new, but in the grand scheme of things, these are pretty new homes. This is not, you know, thirty or forty years old or fifty years old. Got a bunch of clients in this neighborhood too. Um, there's a cute little like private park, something like that over here. I think there's a sign that mm -hmm. says Grandpa's Park, but I really do think that's actually privately owned. It's just someone's big plot of land. Mm -hmm. um, and and we've got, we is it right? Timber Ridge School? Like kind of behind us that we we're going to go to? Yes, we do have Timber Ridge uh, Elementary, and I think there's also a middle school if I'm remembering correctly. Okay. And Ooh, so, kitty. <laughs> I do not see the kitty. I see the kitty. <laughs> it's right. a pretty orange kitty. It matches all the fall leaves. As long as it's nowhere near the car. <laughs> um, so let's see. So I have a fun story about one of these clients, actually. Um, the Hayden Homes like representative realtor um, lived in, as they often do, one of the Hayden built homes. And at some point, his family moved, and I brought the buyer, actually. So I like sold his house. Um, <laughs> and they are still happily living there. Really, really sweet family. Um, just off the corner of, I think it's Somerset and whatever the last street was that we were just on. I navigate visually, not by street Cameron. names. Cameron, thank you. It's mm -hmm. actually on Cameron, yeah. And then we are actually going to take a left onto Breezy. So I think the way that I turned here, yeah, we're going to cross the intersection and mm -hmm. then do it. All right. So a little sign, Timber Ridge School is up ahead this way. Um, and we're going to go by Breezy, as Noel just said, and then go by a different builder that we haven't talked yet about on this video, and then go by the schools and the apartments, and then we're going to actually connect back to Knox Butte and take a shortcut all the way to downtown. Okay, so off the top of my head, I honestly don't remember which builder did this neighborhood, um, but we've got some clients very happily living here on Breezy as well, you know, just for the sake of showing you an example neighborhood. Um, maybe we can find some pictures from this home that's for sale or the next door neighbor that has our <laughs> clients and friends living in it. Uh, but you've got, you know, great pride and ownership here. I think 1990s, year 2000, something like that, give or take, uh, vintage homes. And really close, really close proximity, easy access to the, like, Costco shopping area, the schools, and commuting. That little box trailer said the amazing garage sale on it. Um, garage sailing or estate sales and stuff is actually a really fun thing in this area. There's some professional full-time companies that host them and do a great job. They really do. We have a couple clients that do that, and they do a phenomenal job. Yeah. 
All right. Did I go the way I meant to? Nope. <laughs> All right. We're going around town, I guess. All right. Now you're getting the full <laughs> driving experience. When I got to take a U-turn, now we know it's like we've checked all the boxes of what it's like being in the car with me. All right, we got to find, we got to find my artist's house. My guy who's uh, got those hummingbird paintings on display at the city of Albany. We got to yes. drive by his house. Um, we just need to find Somerset, if I remember correctly. Sagecrest, Clover Ridge Road. Oh, I totally messed it up. I have no, <laughs> no idea where we are. Well, we're back on Clover Ridge. So I think if we go back left. Le back? Uh, yeah, left. Because that's south. Folks, we're going to shut off the camera for a minute and orient ourselves. We'll be right back. Okay, we're back. And we figured out what I did wrong. And we just literally turned the car around and we're keeping on going. So now we are on Sagecrest and we're just approaching this neighborhood from the other side. So the builder that's done this one is Chad E. Davis Construction. Um, we'll put a link on the screen right now to a example video tour inside of a Chad E. Davis Construction home, because um, that's been on our website or YouTube for a long time. Um, Chad E. Davis is a really good builder, um, very you know, good like energy efficiency, um, a lot of what would otherwise be upgrades already included in the base price of the homes. And you can tell that this is newer. This is very new construction from just the past few years. The trees are small and the houses are big. Mm -hmm. um, so let's see. One of the things that's really nifty about this neighborhood is that there is actually wetlands on the other side of this whole stretch of houses. So like I have mentioned that we have some, some folks who we helped buy a house here and uh, he's exhibiting some of his paintings. Uh, he paints like ducks and lots of birds and stuff. And that was part of the appeal of buying in this neighborhood was just literally being able to look outside of his backyard and have inspiration for what he was painting. So you can see some neat architectural styles here. Um, we've got some that I'm gonna call are a little bit more, you know, conventional or normal and then some that are a little bit more modern. Please chime in if you would describe these differently though. Uh, yeah, I would call them modern, um, potentially uh, going off of uh, I, what I would call Pacific Northwest modern, okay. uh, which is definitely, it leans modern, but sometimes you get a lot more natural materials and they're not, uh, say, like brutalist construction. What was that last word? Brutalist, which is like lots of concrete and stuff like that. It's a type of architecture. Fun fact. Gotcha. All right, here we go. Yep, I thought I was going to just approach from the other side of that street. <laughs> so here's our family that we're talking about, lives like right over here. And another reason that we want our viewers to know about this area is because these are very new apartments, actually, mm -hmm. right here on Somerset and Timber Ridge. Um, so you've got, you know, you've got yet another housing option if you want to get settled into the area and then be house hunting on your own, you know, time frames with us as opposed to feeling like you're turning into a pumpkin because you have to buy a house, you know, this weekend because you're on a house hunting trip or something. Mm -hmm. Here's Meadow Ridge Elementary School off beautiful, to our left. Beautiful, beautiful new schools right here, yeah. And then we have Timber Ridge School right after that. And in case I didn't say it, this is apparently Somerset Apartments or Somerset Place Apartments. Mm. Yeah, great looking facilities. These are lovely looking schools. Yep, Timber Ridge School. All right, so we should be heading south now, back to Knox Butte Road by the Lynn County Fairgrounds and Expo Center and um, Costco, right? Yep. All right, so what we're gonna do from here, folks, is we're going to take a shortcut back to downtown and then cross the bridge and go back into North Albany to the barn at Hickory Station. Uh, Hickory Station was that like little shopping complex that Noel was telling you about that had restaurants and cafes and coffee shops and um, you know home goods stores and all kinds of stuff. And we're gonna go to the barn to celebrate the successful completion yes. of this YouTube video filming. <laughs> and if you're watching this, then it means that we got back there and all the cameras actually stayed on this time. <laughs> Otherwise, round four. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Okay, so we're back on Knox Butte Road. We've got a bunch of neighborhoods off to the left here that are like DR Horton, I think, and then Hayden Homes too. Mm -hmm. Hayden Homes did a, a new development about a year or two ago that's just a stone's throw south of us. And we actually feature that in our example Hayden Homes video um, because there's like a little mini playlist about new construction builders. So we've got some folks that are very much loving living in that home over there. I think I said hi to them recently and they had just celebrated their first year there. Um, and they got a single story, three bed, two bath house with a three car garage. And the husband is just loving that. He's working <laughs> on like race cars in his garage because he actually takes them to the, the car track in Lebanon. Oh, really? Yeah, it was so fun getting to actually see what he was working <laughs> on. I loved it. Yep, so we're back here at Lynn County Fair and Expo Center. And we're going to take this to right about where the Costco is and then hop on, is it Old Salem Road at that point? It would be Old Salem Road. And then just take a shortcut through the Hackleman District. Yes. Through the other side of downtown that we hadn't seen yet. Exactly. All right. So here's I-5 and all that jazz. Looks like a Hawaiian food cart over there. I, yeah. haven't, I haven't seen that one yet. I have been to the barbecue food cart, just a Ooh. little bit further up the street, the purple one. Yeah. Really good. Ooh, good to know. There's the welcome to Albany sign. And just ahead of us would be Winco, Costco, all the Co's. And here we're turning left onto Salem. Salem Avenue. Oh, okay. Uh, because Old Salem, Old Salem Road, Road go goes continues on. Because, you know, we have to have multiple names for streets. So Old Salem Road would take us into Millersburg, like far northeast Albany. So again, you know, let us know. Because if, if you all do want to see an outskirts of Albany expansion pack, just like we did for the Corvallis tour, uh, we will happily make that happen. Weather dependent in terms of how soon it'll be or not. Ooh, what's the deal with this pond and... Oh, shoot, I'm forgetting the name of this <laughs> pond, but here, Cody put up the name for us right here. Uh, this is a really awesome pond people love to go to. I believe it's actually called the lake, not a pond. Okay. But uh, typically during the summer, and actually the last time we did this video, they have this gigantic wood duck out in the middle of the lake. It is beautiful, it's gorgeous. The wood ducks are one of my favorite ducks. And it's just really fantastic to see. And you know it's, you know, spring and summer when we, that duck is out. Yeah, we might have to pull up a website picture to show you there since we've, we've tried to film this a few times over the course of a couple months, so. <laughs> All right, so tell us a little bit more about Talking Water Gardens, actually. I shouldn't say more. We haven't talked about it yet. And it's vaguely over there, right? Yes, Talking Water Gardens is over in the Hackamon di District, and we're going to be kind of passing by, right by it as we're driving through. Okay. Um, and that is actually a man-made wetland. So uh, some of the, uh, the sewage treatment plant is right over there, and actually the water needs to cool down before it hits the Willamette River, so that way we can keep our ecosystem. So uh, the city of Albany actually designed this to uh, actually cool the water down before heading into the river through a series of uh, pools that have now have a whole bunch of natural uh, vegetation and they provide really great habitat for a whole bunch of native species, including waterfowl, we're talking amphibians, we're talking turtles. It's a really great place to go and walk around with your family. They've done an amazing job. And Noelle is especially into birding in case you haven't noticed that in any of our other videos or, you know, from conversations you might have had with her. Uh, so that's a good place for birding too, right? Yes. Okay. Apologies if you did say that already. I don't think I did, but yes. Okay. It, it, it's a really great, excellent uh, starting place for people for going around and walking and identifying birds. All right, we're back to one of these little roundabouts. Pepper Tree Sausage House. Woohoo! Needs to be on your radar, too. <laughs> Breakfast, lunch, sandwiches. Good stuff. 
just about to turn onto Main Street through this roundabout. The Linger Longer Tavern, I'm told, is a great place to stop on the way home if you want to take a break, but I have not been there yet either. Apparently, I need to get more of a life. I haven't been to any of these places. Well, you have been to the Cali Puya Brewing Company, which Love is them. Yes. amazing, and I'm frequently there with uh, my husband and my mom when she comes to visit. Yes, that is really good, and they're kind of vaguely behind us now, right? Uh, they are right to the right of us. Right to the right, Cali Puya Brewing. Mm-hmm. I believe we mentioned them in the Beer Vallis video. Yes. All right, so now we're back to, or towards the downtown area. We and we're are. gonna like sneak up on downtown and then go right over the bridge all of a sudden. So tell us a little bit more about the famous hedge that we are approaching. Okay, so we are in the Hackman district. Fun fact. Uh, so the Monteiths were on the north side during the Civil War because they are from Albany, New York. And the Hackelmans were supported the south. And it got to the point uh, during the Civil War, that to uh, make things a lot more clear for everybody, there was a hedge put up on Baker Street to separate the the side of the towns that separated the north and south. And that was, or Baker, it's like That's right Baker up Street here, right? It's right up here. We're going to see it in just a couple seconds. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. <laughs> and it's... Is it this one? It's this one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Baker Street. So there was an actual hedge planted by both parties. Envision a hedge. Envision a hedge to separate the north and south side. <laughs> but now we are now back on the north side. Back in downtown. Here we are. And we're passing Buzz, which is an amazing place to go get some pho. And Boda's furniture for all your furniture needs for when you move into town. So we had a momentary look at downtown and we're back on the bridge. So we came into downtown earlier on this drive on that bridge next to us. So just like Corvallis, you got a bridge going into downtown and a bridge going out. And in Corvallis, that's Van Buren and Harrison, respectively. And here it is Ellsworth and Lyon. Ellsworth and Lyon, respectively. So we're back over the Willamette River. And since we're past the apex of the bridge, poof, we're back in North Albany now. <laughs> So Spring Hill Road off to the right, Country Club off there, as we said before, right? Mm -hmm. Beautiful area. I have not played golf there, but we've gone to real estate meetings there before. <laughs> really fun. Again, uh, this just whole area is really great for estate sales. There's always an estate sale happening, as seen here on some of our footage. Uh, off to our right here is Peaceful Valley Farm, uh, which is really cool. It's a new garden store. Uh, and by new, I mean this is their first brick and mortar, but they have been online for about 10 years. They're an organic uh, gardens, far farm and garden supply. You can see the sign there, yeah. Really awesome. Um, I've been going over to getting my uh, veggie seeds there, and they've been super helpful. Love it. And at some point, we're going to work on a video called Garden Vallis. We've already outlined it all, and that's part of it but it's been taking too long to do some of this stuff and now it's getting into fall, winter, so it might be after all that that we actually make Garden Vallis, but we'll see. This is the way we came out of North Albany. We're hopping back onto North Albany Road. Healing Motion Physical Therapy, those are client friends of ours, great mm -hmm. people. Happy's is the uh, frequently one I drive through to wash my car. They do an amazing job, and uh, I really love their air fresheners that they give for you, too. Oh, do tell. Oh, yes, they're very it's, nice. It's like new car with a hint of pine. <laughs> uh, no, it's more citrusy, actually. It's more. really lovely. <laughs> Here's that North Albany shopping area. Frankie's, uh, great, uh, like... Local restaurant. Local restaurant, great salads, burgers. Mm -hmm. Momiji, love their bento boxes and sushi. And here we go, let's see. There's the barn over at Hickory Station. There's also South Paws, which is a really awesome place for some burgers, pizza. Pizza, yeah. Uh, and for any of your sporting events, it's a really good one for just a general sports pub needs. And we are gonna have a parking spot. So we're gonna end this video at the barn at Hickory Station. Folks, thanks for watching. Key thing here, get in touch with us long before you think you're actually going to be here. If you're going to come to Oregon to visit, please call us before you do that visit. We can help you pre-plan your visit. We'll hop on a totally casual Zoom call, answer questions for you, 
um, you know, screen share, show you things on the map. We'll help you plan that visit before you even get here. And then hopefully we can even connect while you're here. So again, I'm Michael and this is Noel with Team K Realty. What we actually help people do for a living is buy and sell homes and investment properties, but we're never too busy for you. And it's really fun getting to be ambassadors for the Mid Valley. So we'll wrap up and see what we get at Barnet Hickory Station. Thanks so much for checking out this video and uh, bye for now. Bye for now. <laughs>